The daycare behind me is closed for the foreseeable future, leaving around 100 kids without daycare for uh, the, the foreseeable future while it's closed. Uh, the damage inside, $2 million estimated, according to fire investigators. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but take a look. Tonight, we're getting our first look inside at the damage. We have some video for you shared by the son's owner or the son of the owner showing the walls of the ceiling and covered in soot charge children's artwork clinging to the walls as well. The owner Sheila Shalina Patel telling us she is devastated by what happened, saying her intent is to rebuild. She's grateful that no one was here when the fire started, telling us that investigators suspect a charging electronic device was the cause. While she is working through the insurance process right now, Patel says all she wants to do is get back to serving the families she started this business for back in 2021. Don't know how much of a loss we are taking. Um, I'm worried for the parents, um, the children, of course. I mean, those kids that I play with every day, where are they right now? Where, where are they going to go? Yeah, the daycare again closed for the foreseeable future and efforts are underway to relocate all the kids displaced by the fire. Kinder Kids is contacting other daycares who might be able to help, saying impacted parents should stay tuned for updates. However, we have learned that the Grand Island School District has arranged for 36 UPK, that's pre-K students, to go and continue their schooling through the end of the year at Sidway Elementary. We'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live on Grand Island, on your side, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.